and uh, December could be insane. Possibly Connor. I asked him. I messaged him. I sent him a DM. I said, Connor, you main event me co-main. He said, shot Kala. That's all he said. <laughs> so I don't know what that means, but I'm assuming and he's you know, yeah. The the it's just crazy thinking about the comparisons. How it's been like that. A lot of the comparisons were people saying you're a wannabe Connor, wannabe mm-hmm. Connor, wannabe Connor for years, dude. Just by me saying I want to do massive pay per views, I want to break numbers, I want to knock people out, I want to be great. And by me wanting that is of me wanting to be Connor because he did all that. So it's like okay, whatever. And then I go out there and fucking sleep all Joe, <laughs> yeah, damn near yeah, the same, same way he slept Aldo. Yeah, it's in, it's fucking wild. It really is. It's like iconic. It's like full circle. Everything that night just, and it was awesome hearing uh, Volkanovski and Israel Adesanya just say like there was just something in the air. Like you, they both, two of the top fighters in the whole world right now, both were just only the, the two really that predicted that you even had a chance. Yeah, and, and they. they I mean, like, even uh, even Volk said he's still leaning towards Aljo, and I get it, dude. If I wasn't me and I was a fan of MMA, I would have predicted. Aljo to win that fight just by looking at the fl- dude he fought Corey Peter Peter TJ Henry those were his last five fights yeah like he and he's a killer dude I can't that, I will never take anything away from Aljo he's a fucking animal he's a nightmare to fight he's he's very good everywhere um and then my b- best win was a close fight against Peter Yawn but now it's so funny how the narratives I don't fight anyone I take easy fights <laughs> bro by the time three, four more fights from now, I'm gonna have an insane last five fights. I mean, oh, yeah. Peter Yan and Aljamain Sterling, just those two last fights. That's the, arguably the best striker in the division and the best grappler in the division. Took them both out. Took them both out. Would have liked to sleep Peter, but obviously I uh, didn't get the chance to. Rocked him, dropped him. Yeah. Rocked him with my left, dropped him with my right. <laughs> um. Oh, overall, I mean, yeah, we talked a lot about it on the Timbo Sugar Show. I mean, it yeah. was just, but now that, it, I mean, that was the same day. We t- we yeah, did the podcast the same day. Now it's been a few more days. It's definitely sank in a little bit. Um, I've been seeing the narrative change about you a lot, just from Twitter and everything. It's a lot more positive towards you. And it's just crazy to see the flip of that from everyone. Aljo dominates him. Aljo, blah, 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 yep. blah. Now it's like, oh, he's the real deal. He really proved himself. It's just crazy that flip was like. I get it. I mean, yeah. I, I get and And DC was very open about it. He's like, I've always questioned it. I've always been like, eh, we'll see. We'll see. And then I fought Peter and he's like, oh, shit, okay. And then I, you know, now that I beat Aljo, it's like, okay, okay, the motherfucker's for real. There's no more questions yeah. to be asked.